Okay guys, so first I'm going to start off with my Makeup Forever. This is some concealer. I love using this concealer to lay down some eyeshadows. You guys know, you got to start with the base first to get them eyeshadows popping. So then I'm going to show you guys I'm using this little kit from um, Profusion. I did a video on this guys. You guys already know about this kit. It has everything you need for your full face. So I'm going to take this eyeshadow and I'm going to pop that right um, under my eyebrows into the crease. Transition kind of help make everything lay down smooth. Then next I'm going to go to this next color and pop that into the crease using the fluffy brush that um, comes with this kit. Um, I love this kit, guys. If you have not picked this bad boy up, it is on clearance at Target, or you can get it online from Provision. So I had to zoom in because I forgot that I was not zoomed in, so I just zoomed in for you guys real quick. Okay, so now I'm going to take the chocolate palette from Profusion also just to kind of bang out this look and I'm going to use this green shade here. Um, I love this palette. I like this whole collection that they did and all of their eyeshadows are really, really smooth and this green shade is really pretty. So I'm just going to take that onto the lid and then you're going to see me pack that into the crease and there is a ton of blending in this look. Um, so I'm using the same brush. This is a MAC brush. It's like an eyeshadow brush from MAC. And I'm just packing it into the crease and then blending it out. Then I'm going to go back with that um, blending brush that I used earlier with that same like rusty orange color to kind of help blend the edges. So once again, guys, blend, blend, and blend. So next, I'm going to take my LA Girl Pro Concealer, I cannot remember the color of this, but it's just one of the lighter shades, blend it out with my finger, and then I'm going to take this really pretty sparkly shade that's in the same chocolates palette, and I'm going to place that on top. The concealer is just to help make the eyeshadow pop a little bit more. Then I'm going to take that same green eyeshadow I used before, and I'm going to place that on the outer edges of the um, sparkly eyeshadow, just to kind of help blend the edges. Using your finger for that glitter shade will help, you know, get that shadow on a lot more and it goes on a lot smoother. So I'm taking the brush from the Chocolates palette. You guys heard me talk about their brushes are really, really nice and they have a brush kit online which is sold out right now, but their brushes are really nice. Okay, now it's time for the face, and I had to use one hand because I have Zara in the other hand. That's who I was talking to throughout this whole video. So I'm going to take some of my primer. This is my Shea Moisture Primer. It's a mattifying primer. I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to take my Becca Foundation. Um, I'm going to squirt some of that on my cheeks, and because I'm working with one hand, guys, just bear with me in this video. 
just gonna go ahead and blend that out. This I'm using my Real Techniques brush. I am a brush girl when it comes to my foundation versus a sponge. I just like to get a fuller coverage with my foundation most days. So if you're a sponge kind of person, you can use a sponge, but I love to use a brush and this is my favorite brush. So as you guys can see, the struggle was mad real. I was trying to put on this concealer. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I'm gonna go on top of that with my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. Um, I just like both of them together because one has a more yellow, golden undertone. And the other one is a bit more natural. So I like to mix both of them together and then I'm going to just use a nice little buffing brush from e.l.f. to kind of blend those out. All my sponges are dirty so I'm going to use this brush. It kind of gives me the same effect as a sponge. So I'm going to go ahead and set that and I'm using the IT Cosmetics. This is their translucent setting powder. I love this stuff because it doesn't leave like a white cast under your eyes. I am looking a little ashy afterwards but once you kind of blend out all your face powder it looks perfectly fine and it's a really soft powder so it blends out nicely and you can set all your face with this. I just love this powder. Then I'm going to set my full face using the Laura Mercier powder um, just to kind of help balance everything out. now it's time for contouring and I'm just going to show you guys I'm contouring my nose I do contour the rest of my face but I really contour my nose a lot and now it's time for blush using my favorite blush from MAC this is Raisin So it's now time for my highlight and I believe this is my Sephora highlight. I will place the name down below and Zara was not acting right. She was trying to reach for everything on the freaking table and I was trying to quickly finish my makeup but she just kept reaching down for something and I had no idea what she was looking for but this shows you the true struggle of trying to do your makeup and holding a baby. So I'm taking that same highlight shade and I'm placing that in the inner corner of my eye and then I'm going on top of that with some of that eyeshadow that I placed in the middle of my eyes um, on the lid just to kind of give a different effect. Now lastly for the lips, I'm going to take this lipstick by J. Audrey and this is called Conversation. I really, really love this lipstick. It's a nice warm cinnamon color, um, but it matches my skin tone really, really well. And then I'm going to take on the outer part this NYX Liquid Lingerie Lipstick. Um, I'm going to put the name down below because obviously I don't know none of the names of anything today.
so that is it guys this is the full look i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i can't wait to chat with you guys in my next video bye guys